what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this will be a spoiler free review for heretic which is directed and co-written by scott beck brian woods it is starring sophie thatcher chloe east and hugh grant it follows two young missionaries who are forced to prove their faith when they knock on the wrong door and are greeted by a diabolical mr reed becoming ensnared in his deadly game of cat and mouse so heretic i would say is one of the better horror films this year uh one of the better religious horror films in general this year it's an intense exploration of faith certainty carried by a chilling performance from hugh grant he has a bit of an underwhelming conclusion but i'm still impressed overall these two missionary named sister barnes and sister paxton i believe were the names are making their way through this list of folks who wanted to learn more about our lord and savior the latest on the list is this character mr reed someone that reminded me a lot of elijah price aka mr glass but heretic never explores him too greatly which kept his presence terrifying at all times anyway a couple of smiles and lies lead paxton and barnes to entertain reed's interest in religion but this theological debate becomes progressively uncomfortable as much as it is thought-provoking i want to firstly stress that while heretic doesn't have anything new to say about religion it is a highly compelling, exceptionally worded descent into a man's sick worldview that leads us to the conclusion many are destined to pick up on if you yourself already have adopted this thought process about religion and the concept of faith, belief, and disbelief. If nothing else, Heretic validates my own struggles with religion, as I'm sure it will do for several of you who decide to watch this movie in theaters, which is what kept me glued the entire time. That and my curiosity of seeing how Paxton and Sarah plan to escape this man, a man who places them in the most uncomfortable situations with nothing but his unlimited vocabulary that plants these seeds of doubt about their religious journeys. Admittedly, Mr. Reed's monologues do become tiresome. And yes, the word choice featured throughout the film might be a bit too academic for some's liking meaning it is a bit wordy just to say it in simplistic ways but the writers always kept the tension high through this character even if the monologues do become a bit tiresome and despite seeing where the story is going i could never figure out how reed would get us to that point which kept me tangled in his web of deceit paxton and sarah as likable as they are didn't have the depth i'd hoped for for a pair of protagonists so reed's presence works overtime to keep this story engaging the fact that he is so creepy and you don't know what to expect from him he's so unpredictable and shrouded in mystery and these girls they have the best intentions that alone even though the work with them is lacking what they're doing to constantly hype up reed is enough to get me to root for the otherwise thin protagonist of sarah and paxton i would also like to say that the screenplay does a great job at setting up things and give you a payoff later on some great use of foreshadowing featured throughout the film specifically related to a butterfly there are some things left up to interpretation but at the same time the film does give you enough to come kind of go back and rewatch and decide well that's what this means that's what this means and you know it doesn't feel too open although the ending itself like i've stated is a bit underwhelming because it seems like it's setting up something a bit more grand than what you got it goes to the point it, it got to the point that i knew it was going to but it's just like oh that's that's it but it was still a good time it's a very compelling film that really just makes you question your own religious journey as well you are in the shoes of sarah and paxton and if for someone like me who grew up in a religious household i felt victimized at times i didn't feel insulted I just felt victimized, but also validated in my own constant, ever-changing views when it comes to religion and what it actually is used for against us. That's what you'll see what I mean when you see the film. Now, Hugh Grant chews up every scene in this film. Sophie Thatcher compliments him quite well, and Chloe East was wonderful. But do not be mistaken, the movie is Grant's, and he made sure of it. The switch from welcoming husband to lunatic is enough to send chills down your spine. The cinematography was fantastic. The camera work featured throughout keeps you immersed in the narrative and keeps you feeling isolated in this man's home, feeling like there is no way out. 
and it just constantly swells and swells and swells because the directors are again just keeping that tension ever present whether that be through a dark tunnel <laughs> that you don't know where it leads to and a wide shot of that or whether it just be grant's presence on screen and his delivery just constantly keeping you on the edge and making you go something's not right about you i already know something's not right about you and you're just doubling down on it it's making me quite uncomfortable but the acting in this film again across the board i would say was phenomenal the only time i felt the movie had a pacing problem was during this one scene when they first get to his home and the conversation while again very engaging it just seemed like it was going off for longer than it needed to but it also simultaneously worked because I was like, OK, you need to wrap this scene up. But at the same time, it was more so because not only did I think it was overstaying its welcome, but it was continuously making me uncomfortable. Progressively, I should say, making me uncomfortable. The things he's asking them and the way they're responding, the expressions on their face, all of that made that sequence something I was like, OK, wrap this up, wrap this up, because not only was it overstaying its welcome, it again was just so intimidating so uncomfortable so nerve-wracking so i love the way they used these close-up shots of the girl's lips their eyes while he's talking all of that again just kept every scene drenched in tension and suspense and keep kept you on the edge the entire time i would honestly give this film a solid 7.5 out of 10 uh it, it again doesn't have much new to say about religion some of you when you watch the film you already came to this conclusion about religion yourself whether that be through some life experiences or maybe you just recently came to that conclusion about religion but if nothing else like i stated this just validated my own thoughts and struggles on religion and i had a good time with heretic uh i can't wait to see what you guys thought about it some people might not like this movie obviously like any other film out there but I wouldn't say it's a poorly made film, even if I came out of this because I'm not that crazy about it. It just wasn't a poorly made film and it kept me engaged from start to finish. So, again, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.